now 59 is a better angle almost a bit of an upslope actually so a bit more flight on this a bit more check oh dear I bet you're all feeling a bit chuffed at home <laughs> see that these things actually happen to the very best players in the world this has not been a kind hole for Terrell Hatton it's time just to calm down Mark that ball, couple of deep breaths. Go ahead and knock it in. There's some really struggling towards the end of the day here yesterday. He's on the upslope as well, yeah. Anthony, which just really makes it even harder. Yeah, if he was behind him three or four yards on the downslope, you could feel yourself skidding it up the green, but this is pretty difficult, 40 yards off an upslope. Oh, this is long. Oh, Billy, Billy, Billy. I've got to be honest. I'm amazed that he went for that in that fashion off the upslope. Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh, this oh. is not so lovely for Fitzpatrick. Don't go back in the footprints, whatever you do. It's just never fun on a day like today. It's a day to just get through and do as little damage to your scorecard as possible. And these little putts when it's so windy, very difficult. Oh, you can just see that. We're gonna we're gonna see some real struggles today. That I'm afraid is a triple bogey seven for McElroy at the 14th. Oh. oh! You may never see a shot like that again from Nikolai. My God, that was extraordinary. I'm not even sure that was a shank. I think that was off the toe. Cabrera Bayo back towards the water down the hill. He will obviously be missing the cut at plus five, but oh, hello. That one's swimming as well. There's a green. There's a green in the middle of that. Scott's bull. Not only tumbled down onto the lower level, but into the primary rough. And he's going to get another go at that one. Par 3, 13th team, Burmester, Tony Johnston back alongside Richard Box, or myself, Dom Hollier in the box. We've got Jay Townsend and Iona Stephen out on course for us. Uh, hit the rocks. Fortunately, backwards into the pond. Neil Yotzi from 153. Oh, that's it, straight into the face. Did his foot slip? I think it did. If we see it again, I think it may have slipped a little bit just as he hit the ball, I think. Yeah, I don't think the lip, in all honesty, was, was really in play. Burmester, after going in the penalty area, this is now his third. Has to go long. Has to go past the flag now. Oh, oh no. my goodness! This is going to rack up a number here. I'm dropping for five. At least the water's warm here. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Now let's see what he can do. He actually did this at uh, the, the Dutch Open a few weeks ago. Oh, not enough. God, you go through all that preparation. Do you think? Could have kept my shoes on and just dropped it. He's going to be really annoyed, Richard. Thermister, take two, but fifth shot. This is like Groundhog Day, isn't it? I'll repeat, he has to go long now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Good little pitch shot from Hovland and Shirley. It's a little bit disconcerting. He missed a short putt last week on round three on the 18th green. Pablo has that here all of a sudden. You're going to have bad holes. It's whether you get away with them or not. 
Well, it's fully 30 yards. He's going to have to hit this hard. I don't think he has. I think that is a duff. He looked behind at something there. What? Frustration. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Completely and utterly miscued it. Whereas this one here is really not a very easy pitch at all. Back into any little bit of breeze which will help. Oh, left it. And I think any semblance of confidence he had regained, Boxy, will have just diminished right there. Interesting shots here at number eight. Fox first to play. Yeah, coming off the hard pan, he's going to have to pitch this in the rough on the upslope and kill it. And we'll bleed from right to left. Now he's got a job's worth now to, say, to drop just one shot from that. Could see it ready to go. He too on an upslope ball, only marginally above his feet. This just sets up great for George. He's going to aim it. Oh, just the right side of the TV tower. Play his cut shot in there. Oh, he hit the big green ball before the little white one there. That's as embarrassing as anything. Yeah, that, I'm afraid, is just a flat-out duff. So the lead for a big swing at the last. Gosh, we've seen some things today. I know Broom's putt jumped, but his didn't move much. So, you know, you've kind of had a little bit of a, a look as to what it's going to do. And he was aiming outside the hole. Oh. There's not a lot to say there. I'm afraid that is awful finish. He won't be thinking straight at all there, Paul, walking off that green. I think the Rison's just going to get on with it, playing ready golf. Oof! I won't want to watch that again. Justin Waters is second into... Oh my goodness, what happened there? Oh dear, oh dear, foot slip. To the 14th, the Carnoustie, Antoine Rosner. That was a tough downhill live to television screen, kind of flattens it out, going over a little grass bunker. That was always a tough shot. Oh, I mean, he had a horrible lie. I mean, he was on an upslope in some thick rough, tried to force it with the rescue, and he's a lucky boy. Got away with it. To number 11. There's Matty Schmidt, who's not in a great spot here. Not sure he isn't going to have to land this on a down slope. So, not really much going in his favour here, Schmidt. Oh no, where has that finished? And right there, Boxy, is the result of this so called new method of bunker play. Stand square, take it inside the line. Thank you very much. It's inevitable eventually. Thanks, Don. So we see Southgate. Oh, oh, that's a horrid lie. He was in there. Take your time, take your time. I think he'll just walk forward and have a little look at this. What's this for a golf swing? Jason Scriven, a perfect angle. Wonderful posture. But every now and then. <laughs> Can we have another go at that one? I hope it avoided the little streams. There's a couple of bunkers there. Just you don't see that very often, no. do you? Yeah, absolutely. Spot on, Dom. A bit of movement in it, but yeah, you had two, two nice running chip shots. It really has given him a, a good look at a two. Just a fraction up the hill at the death, really. It will slow down. Steady golf so far. There's nothing to, to worry him. Oh, that, that, now, that there, now there is. Uh, uh, 
that. Oh, I can't believe that. Second shot for Soderberg. Out the fairway bunker. Not very successful. Pitch it between bunker and green, which is a slither of... You obviously can't see Johnny. Looks like he's trying to run it through the park. He's got wood in his hand at the moment. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> just it's got dark. I must admit, I'm just. Uh, it's a three wood, John. I think that's too much club. <laughs> yeah, there's water beyond. You better calm down. Here he goes. Oh, I like this. It's the sort of shot you'd have played. I know. Look at the state of that, Christopher Columbus. It was always a gamble. Yeah, Honda Vault here on 12. Had a crack at the green. Here he is at the base. Just have to pick the club up. And. Oh, have another go. Now, just take your time here. He's got a lot of points to play for. And there you go. There's your answer left below, right, Tony? Yeah. Must have taken some adapting on these longer ones, and that's a flat out duff. You know, I'm surprised he does it. He was always a decent pitcher when there was grass under the ball. I can understand him going cross handed close to the greens off tight lies, which was his weakness, but I don't know why he does it with those because he was quite good from that range. Yeah, interesting. First lie wasn't that bad. Very surprised. He was on the flat, so it wasn't easy, but it certainly should have hit the green. This is much easier on the upslope. He can see the bottom of the pin. He could do with this, couldn't he? But he's going to have to force this because it is uphill. Well, the old nemesis returns. Yeah, he's, he's finding his way with the left below right. I spoke to him earlier on the range and he said it really had transformed his confidence. Second to fair, Kinnell. It's a good side to come in from. Just be over the right edge of that uh, bunker you can see underneath that purple and white sign. Hearing me. I think that's gone eight foot in front of him, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe ten, but yeah. What on earth? I like it. One of the home players, Timo Vallenkamp, uh, has reached the 18th. Oh, heavens. He'll not want to see that one again. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.